Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, bringing another gameplay video. Uh, checking out some franchises here for my potential uh, CFM I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Uh, so I'm basically labbing uh, some teams. I'm also basically, I don't. I, this is early on, I didn't have a lot of coins uh, to do uh, ranked matches, which is uh, part of the reason that I'm doing this. First play here, uh, I'm labbing a new defense. Like I said, this is like the first week Madden came out, and I was really trying some new overload defense. As you can see, this is getting pressure here. I mean, this is working kind of how I wanted it to. Uh, this guy right here man he was using that jump or that uh, that dive or whatever they call it that high jump uh, a lot it was his move of choice and it was actually really effective as you see right out the gate I don't know if I just don't have the timing you know what I'm saying it's a new game uh, it feels a little bit funky uh, early on um, but you know I think overall I'm just not I'm just not really feeling <laughs> not playing what really well I feel like early on the defense was just really bad uh, this guy keeps hitting me with this outside uh, table route to the uh, tight end in the backfield so eventually um, I switch up my defense and I, I really focus on taking that away but first drive he's running a hurry up and I'm really kind of letting him get away with it um, he's getting what feels like a weak box advantage against the defense that I picked which he really shouldn't be getting because he has a three wide um, you know he's got a running back I, I don't feel like he should be getting this type of blocking advantage but he is As you see he keeps um, he keeps going in a hurry up and pounding it on me uh, it's all good though as he keeps doing this, I mean, I really probably should have called a timeout at some point and changed defense. Um, I don't know what he saw as an advantage other than the fact that he just kept uh, knocking out the park. And like I say, he just keeps running the same play. Keeps hitting that tight end, keeps hitting that tight end. Uh, eventually, I just, every play, I start manning that tight end up. Uh, but so, but not at this point. So here I'm expecting run. So I send in a, a pretty hefty blitz. Um, and there's still a huge lane. So that defense right there, I trash it right away. I mean, like I said, I'm labbing. I'm essentially live labbing some defenses against an opponent. And that basically got it done. So here, good pancake by the receiver. Almost take it, almost go, uh, but I get I get arm wrapped last second by the safety. Um, that happens a couple times in this game where uh, I you know I'm still kind of feeling out the game. You know what I'm saying? This is like a very early game, uh, very early experience. Uh, right there, once again, I, I get a little bit too close and uh, I get picked up, I get tackled. Something that I, I can't say I really noticed. Um, you know. My timing, I guess, is a little bit off. Here, he's shooting that gap, and I get some huge pancakes as I'm coming out in a, in a very heavy defense, and it looks like he's coming out like a dime or something. So this guy right here, uh, maybe, maybe it's a nickel. I'm not really sure, but he's not really paying attention to the weak box system as he's just getting pancaked left and right. Here, he, he's just, he just runs right past me uh, to cut me off. Almost make a little shake and bake happen. Almost make a miss. Uh, but what are you going to do? Uh, there was a guy trailing. I actually did make him miss, but the guy trailing picks me up. So here, this is a, a, one of my favorite schemes from last year. I think I might be using the Packers playbook. I'm not really sure, uh, but this is in the Packers playbook either way. So here I'm, I'm flipping the play. I'm running that same hurry up. This is one of my, my more favorite plays. This is a real money play, especially from this distance. And I uh, cancel the uh, cancel the uh, play action, but it doesn't matter because he's just sending the house. So I come out in the exact same play because he didn't get to see it last time anyway. And I get that tight window to that second tight end, and he scores that touchdown. So... Um, here I go back to, the, to my classic 3-3-5 three, three, wide 9 look. Uh, it still works. You see I get really good coverage. You get a nice coverage sack. Uh, like I said, I start manning up that tight end. Um, so that takes that away. But then he just keeps running this screenplay on me anyway. This is a play I actually put out last year. For, so for all I know, he saw this on my channel. It's a really tough play to stop. Um, but he only runs two plays. And here he runs the screen again. Um, like I said, two plays. That's all he really runs this whole game. Uh, and, and manning the running back doesn't seem to work on screenplays the same way it did last year. It just, it just doesn't work. Um, the, 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 the blockers pick him up, uh, the man defender, a lot quicker. So um, a lot of advantages went to the offense. You know what I mean? It's like there's no, not a lot of advantages on defense. Uh, later on, though, I feel like I figured out some really good defensive plays, which I put out a couple already, and I'm going to keep putting them out. Uh, but early on, the 3-5 three through five wide here, uh, which was the play that I used a lot last year, pretty much is the best play I found so far early this year. Um, and you can see it's still working as I'm manning up a lot of guys. Uh, here, second and six. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's just he's using that uh, that jump move again, man. And that thing, like I said, it was so good. It was to the point where I actually started labbing that jump move. I finally get a nice uh, stop on that user screen. Uh, I, I go underneath the blocks a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I needed something because that play really was working on me good. He's taking over Rodgers, man. I'm expecting, you know, quarterbacks are OP this year. They don't fumble in the open field like they did last year. I don't find. Uh, hit sticks are definitely uh, pumped up a notch. Uh, but they really don't seem to uh, to get the job done against quarterbacks. Uh, there you see, he thought about going for a field goal, but then he changed his mind. So fourth and goal, still using that 3-3-5. Three, three, 
Uh, but I, I guess I probably should have sent somebody in because he holds the ball a long time. Blocks are holding up for him. I bite on a uh, on a on a. Uh, uh, a crossing pattern and I leave my uh, zone wide open um, so I'm just not getting the job done so now he's going for two this is kind of disrespectful this is like what you do when you're when you're really owning somebody you want to put pressure on you ain't owning me bro like you're doing a little bit better uh, than me on uh, you, you know your offense is doing pretty good but you ain't owning me so here I think I went with the uh, I think I ducked forward there a little bit and made that guy miss uh, but it was so slight you could barely notice it but you're seeing these big plays that uh, Murray's running uh, second play here, I hit the tight end wide open in the flat, and it takes two plays to go downfield, two juke moves, to, <laughs> two plays, two juke moves to go down the field and basically stick it back to that guy. Like I said, not a lot of defense in this game. Uh, here's some defense here though, nice user adjustment, a Dory Jackson. You know what I'm saying a good-looking young corner. If I pick the, if I pick the Titans, um, you know, I, I, at least I got one nice. Good looking young corner out there. Nice athletic Adoree Jackson. Uh, but eventually I'm going to make a video leaving it up to you guys. When I get closer to picking my CFM team, uh, I'll give you guys a vote on who I take. But this is definitely going to be one of my options. The, uh, the Titans are a loaded squad. So here, man, this is one of the reasons I love him, man. Mariota takes off, gets that first. Or not that first, but he gets out of bounds, which is way more important. Here, I wanted to throw to the running back out of bounds, but that was covered pretty good. So I got to throw over the middle. Not what I wanted to do uh, because time is an issue. I got no timeouts. So I got to run a hurry up, uh, which, you know, is what it is. I flipped the play. I'm just running out of time. I would have liked to put the running back to the line of scrimmage again um, just so I could try to make something happen to the sideline. But I don't know how this guy caught me. Who was that that gets that shoestring tackle? Nick Perry, man, he ain't catching Mariota in the open field, but it is what it is. So I just let time run out, kick the field goal. Didn't want to take a chance of making a mistake and letting time run out. I, I was just going for a field goal anyway. I was happy for that. Um, here I, I got a, a running back in by the name of, I don't even know, Muhammad. The first name's really hard to say. Um, but this guy's another running back that they have on the Titans that's really good. He's like a 90-something plus speed, so he's the fastest guy they got. Uh, that play didn't work out too good, though. But, I mean, their running back backfield is loaded with Henry and uh, Murray, and you can just see these guys making plays. Here, you know, Amaro almost takes off. He's having a great game out of that second tight end position, a really good receiving tight end. I used him in a franchise a long time ago. He was a monster. I think it was his rookie year. Uh, he saw. He, I'm really familiar with him. He's a good receiving tight end. Um, as you're seeing me pound the ball, I'm switching running backs. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to play uh, my running backs in like a, a system where I'm switching it up. So here, I can tell that he thinks I'm going to keep running the ball because I have a huge advantage. I don't know how he came out in this defense, but I'm actually just, just basically toying with him. I'm, I, I had a feeling he was going to do an all-out blitz, so I call my adjustments. You can see he's bringing everybody down in the box to have any type of chance to stop me. And sure enough, he sends an all-out blitz, and that was a big mistake. Uh, you don't do that in this game. That's 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 a rookie move in my opinion when you uh, when you do a run blitz you should just call a timeout would have been way better i mean we're both playing in like a stubborn fashion where we don't where we think timeouts are more important than points but uh it is what it is so here he's just like his offense like i said is, is top notch he's just throwing it all over the field on me uh as they have you know way better offense on in green bay than i think the titans do on defense but it is what it is so still doing that screen Still doing a lot of user moves. You see the user spin move pop up there. Um, like I said, this guy was definitely a, a good offensive player. A good uh, had a lot of user skill on the offensive side. He jumps over my defender. He hurls my defender. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Uh, thank you for popping up there. Uh, here we hit that screen again, man. That's just that's money. I, I, I at least could get over and make it before it's too bad. Uh, but like I said, this guy's only running two plays. You can see I keep making that adjustment to the tight end. At least at least I take that tight end play away. Uh, here, man, he's just, you know, threading the needle, but at least he was out of bounds. Aaron Rodgers just looks great, man. He just makes throws from all the worst angles. He makes it happen. So here, Rodgers taking off. I'm stepping up again, trying to get that head stick, man. Like I said, I don't know why quarterbacks don't fumble in this game. Like, they, they just, they can, you know, run around all day without any consequence. So he's getting right back into my zone. Uh, I'm just not getting any pressure. This defense is good. But I think realistically, my user defense was extremely lacking. Uh, I probably shouldn't have stopped playing for so long. Like the last two weeks of Madden 17, I didn't play a game. Um, here he goes for two again. Doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? At the, that, at the end of the day, I think that the fact that I shut down those two-point conversions was probably as clutch as it gets by giving me an advantage. 
if he would have got those, it would have been a completely, uh, completely different game. So I guess he's setting the house again. I mean, I was definitely running the ball. I was passing the ball good too. I mean, everything on my offense was working. So I guess the guy started picking uh, to stop the uh, the the run, and he was making mistakes. So Rogers here, man, look, I'm flicking the wrist. You know what I'm saying? I was going for that hit stick, and I didn't get the animation. I don't know what happened there, uh, but he's just chucking it all over the field on me. So he's still in this game. I mean, it looks like I'm opening up a pretty big lead, but he's right there with four minutes to go. The way that these offenses are flying around, this game is not over by any stretch so uh he's gonna take off here with rogers i'm gonna step up last second and boom get that head stick that was nasty looked like he just killed the guy <laughs> finally you know what i'm saying that hit stick that hit stick's a little bit better than it was last year but uh quarterbacks should need they need to be putting the ball in the turf more if they're getting hit like that so here we go i'm just trying to run this clock out now um, I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to hit him with Murray. Murray with this nasty juke move. I had to show that again. Look at him. Both defenders just get shook. You know what I'm saying? This juke move is just OP. I guess all the running back moves are OP. You can see the rooting moves he's putting on my guys are OP. And the moves I'm putting on his guys are OP. Uh, as I get a little bit of a showboat there at the end. I don't like showboating too much. Uh, but either way, this guy, man, just chucking it around. Like how? Like there's like four guys there. You know what I'm saying? This dude just, just takes it in a crowd and goes to the house. Like I said, no defense in this game at all. Uh, but he needs the onside kick at this point with two minutes left, and he's not getting it. So my ball, I'm just going to keep running this cheese-ass play. Uh, we're going to get one more, you know, little juke movement here, uh, make a guy miss. I have got down all the way to the five, but I don't want to punch it in and, and showboat enough. I just want to end the game. So that's the game. Complete barn burner. Offense back and forth. No defense. Uh, if you guys want to see more uh, gameplay footage, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moy shut out.